On December 3rd, the U.S. Department of Defense released a photo of an F-35C, and I believe everyone can see that this aircraft has two very unique features. The photos show the F-35C doing a touch-and-go aboard the carrier. Two things are quite intriguing about the F-35C being shown. First is the multi-toned mirror-like treatment applied to the outside and inside of its vertical tails. The installations on each tail are made up of patches of dark and shiny sheet and tile-like coatings. The upper wings also appear to have strips of the same roughly three types of coatings we have seen on other stealthy aircraft. Confirmed information reveals that similar coatings have been shown to change dramatically based on the angle of view, going from opaque to transparent and, in some cases, from shiny to dark, depending on where the viewer is looking at it from. However, the purpose of these mirrored coatings on the F-35C has not been officially explained by U.S. officials. Strictly speaking, the application of mirrored coatings on aircraft is not a recent development. As early as 1993, the U.S. Air Force conducted experiments with similar mirrored coatings on the F-117. In November 2021, during takeoff and landing operations, a significant portion of an F-22 aircraft from Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada was photographed with a mirrored coating on its fuselage. This incident sparked discussions about such coatings. Apart from this recent occurrence, in 2022, the U.S. Navy's VX-9 Test and Evaluation Squadron conducted extensive mirrored coatings on the lower fuselage and vertical and horizontal tails of the F-35C for the first time. The images released by the U.S. authorities this time mark the third appearance of the F-35C with these coatings, so it is not something entirely new. However, the issue is that, Despite the significant exposure of these coatings for quite some time, no accurate information has been provided to the public. Some internet users jokingly suggest that it is to allow enemy pilots to see their own handsome reflection during dogfights, while others speculate that these coatings are intended for visual stealth, similar to fictional invisible aircraft in sci-fi movies. Apart from the humorous speculations, there are more reasonable viewpoints. Today, I will briefly summarize the speculations made by internet users and analyze their potential validity while attempting to determine the real purpose of these mirrored coatings. Firstly, I believe we can skip the speculation that it is meant to allow enemy pilots to see their own reflections because who would apply makeup while flying an aircraft? Next, let's address the question of whether these mirrored coatings are intended for visual stealth. As mentioned earlier, the U.S. Air Force confirmed that these coatings can change based on the viewer's perspective, transitioning from opaque to transparent and from shiny to dark. This characteristic theoretically suggests that visual stealth can be achieved. Furthermore, although the F-117 has long been retired, it still carries out extensive testing, and the F-22 and F-35C, which have been exposed as having modified mirrored coatings, are aircraft that fly at supersonic speeds, at least twice the speed of sound. This means that ground personnel or optical observation devices would likely see the aircraft before hearing them. From this perspective, visual stealth seems necessary. Considering these points, is the mirrored coating on the F-35C truly designed for visual stealth? In my opinion, it is highly unlikely. Let's imagine if the stealth coating of a stealth aircraft can deceive radar and approach the target undetected. Would it not be more perfect to add visual stealth to the equation at that point? Imagination is beautiful, but many people overlook one question. If supersonic fighter jets can evade detection by anti-aircraft radar and approach their targets, it would certainly be a breakthrough and pose a significant threat. At that point, the aircraft could launch missiles from tens or hundreds of kilometers away. So, what kind of optical observation device could detect an airborne target from such a distance? Even if it were observed, it couldn't be locked on by radar. What kind of anti-aircraft gun would shoot it down? Thus, the only remaining purpose for the mirrored coating is to absorb radar waves more effectively, achieving the ultimate stealth effect. How likely is this possibility? It's well known that the maintenance process for stealth coatings on F-22 and F-35 aircraft is complex, with high environmental requirements and exorbitant production, usage, and maintenance costs. 
If a nanomaterial with the ability to absorb high-frequency radar waves, like a film, could be applied to the aircraft surface, it would significantly reduce the maintenance costs of stealth coatings. It would also be easier to maintain, replace, and further enhance the aircraft's stealth capabilities. Based on the leaked images of the F-22 and F-35 with mirrored coatings, they are primarily located in areas with larger radar reflectivity, such as the rear tail or lower fuselage. Therefore, it's possible that the mirrored coating on the F-35C is being used for radar cross-section testing. However, the exact material and whether it is nanomaterial are unknown. If any viewers have information, please share it in the comments. The final possibility is to mask infrared signatures. This idea is controversial. Although the revelation of mirrored coatings occurred in 2021, there were tests with mirrored coatings on an F-117 as early as the early 1990s, reportedly to reduce the infrared signature of the aircraft. The principle of this type of coating is not new, and the specific shape and placement have been continually adjusted. The War Zones report on the F-35C mirrored coating includes an interesting reply. It mentions an active thermal radiation suppression film that can achieve infrared stealth. Both the Russian and Ukrainian militaries have showcased such materials during the conflict in Ukraine. Many popular science videos have also covered similar materials, which are as thin as paper and can effectively block a significant amount of heat energy. Undoubtedly, it is an excellent solution for reducing the infrared signature of current aircraft. At present, stealth aircraft have no means to escape combat missiles that rely on infrared signatures except for using decoy flares. Once the decoy flares are released, the pilot of the stealth aircraft can only prey. In the last century, pilots could evade missiles through agile maneuvering, but that is no longer possible. Consider the AIM-9 Sidewinder missile, which can achieve an instantaneous overload of 60G. No aircraft can perform such agile maneuvers, so it is impossible to evade. Furthermore, many smart ammunition systems have upgraded their guidance heads to infrared imaging guidance, meaning they lock onto the entire aircraft emitting the infrared signature rather than the infrared decoy flares released by the aircraft. As a result, reducing or masking the infrared signature of aircraft has become the most urgent issue for military industrial complexes. Using active thermal radiation materials as skin to suppress infrared emissions from the aircraft is the most reasonable speculation. Of course, the active thermal radiation suppression material that we have seen is just one type among many suppression materials. It doesn't necessarily mean that the film on the F-35C has the same structure and material. However, it is a reasonable speculation that using active thermal radiation materials as skin will suppress infrared emissions from the aircraft. Based on this evidence, the claim about reducing infrared signatures seems plausible. However, there is also controversy surrounding this topic. If it's for reducing infrared characteristics, shouldn't it be applied to the nozzle and avionics of the aircraft? Why cover the tail, which has the least infrared signature? This is a point where I, like everyone else, am clueless. If any viewers have information, please enlighten us in the comments. Apart from the controversy surrounding its purpose, there is also significant debate about the testing unit for the F-35C mirrored coating. In the recently exposed images of the F-35C by the U.S. military, it belongs to the VFA-125, the Rough Raiders Strike Fighter Squadron, which serves as the F-35C Fleet Replacement Squadron. In other words, it is not a testing unit or a frontline combat unit. If it is about new stealth technology or testing tasks related to reducing infrared signatures, it should not be the responsibility of this unit. In addition to the active F-35 and F-22 aircraft, the F-117, thanks to its extreme stealth design, has been conducting various tests and evaluations of stealth materials and their effectiveness. Recently, there were military enthusiasts who captured images of the Nighthawk with a mirrored coating in China Lake, shining brightly. The U.S. military has applied mirrored coatings to the leading edge, upper fuselage, and tail of the F-117 and conducted formation tests together with the F-35C. These tasks belong to the evaluation and testing squadrons of the U.S. Air Force. 
In theory, if it is a new material test regarding radar absorption or reducing infrared signatures, it should all be entrusted to the evaluation and testing squadrons. Since the F-35C with mirrored coating did not appear in a testing unit but in a replacement squadron, it is highly likely that these aircraft are not in a testing state but in regular service. So, the final question arises, what is the purpose of the highly classified mirrored coating on the surface of these U.S. military aircraft that are already in regular service? I welcome everyone to discuss and leave comments in the comment section. I will continue to follow the news about the mirrored coating on the F-35C. If there is any new information, I will share it with you as soon as possible. That's all for today's content. See you in the next episode.